What is up, YouTube? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 15 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today we are heading in to game two of season two of my head-to-head -head season series. And guys, we are 1-0 right now. Hoping to make it 2-0. We'll see what happens. Obviously, you guys saw in my previous video, it should have been 2-0, but the game didn't count because the game is broken as hell. So I want you guys to take a look at my opponent's lineup here. Not too bad. He didn't have a superstar team, but definitely better than your average team that you play against here in the rookie string divisions. So guys, I just wanted to kind of uh, give you guys a quick heads up here on this video. I want you to watch my defense specifically my defense and I just want you to count how many interceptions that we drop in this contest I want to know what it is that's causing my team to drop so many picks meanwhile my opposing teams my opposition in all these games they all seem to be able to intercept every single bad pass that I make so let me know in the comment section below what is it that I'm doing wrong but anyways, guys, very early in this game, we started off running the football, and we're going to continue doing that throughout this game. We've got Barry Sanders and LaShawn McCoy to be kind of his backup, but being that I'm able to run the ball at least somewhat effectively here in this game, although a couple of these times here like this when I do get stopped, but because I've been able to run the ball effectively, it is setting up things like the play-action pass for later in this game. Now, I accidentally ran out of bounds there because there was a little bit of lag on that play, and it kind of forced me out of bounds, whereas I was trying to juke back in. But it's okay because we were able to drive down the field, setting up now a third and goal here. And this is kind of an obvious passing situation, unfortunately, which led to this. Uh-oh, retard alert. Retard alert, class. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. I drive all the way down the field only to throw the pick to Levante David. Oh, I was killing myself over that one, guys. I was absolutely just distraught as Bo Jackson's getting things going here for my opponent on the first drive. He's throwing it to him. He's running it with him. He's doing everything. That 90 overall Bo Jackson, not a bad item that you get here for a week or so. So hopefully you guys are going to be able to get back on PlayStation Network and check this card out if you haven't yet. It's pretty nasty. Not going to lie to you. As my opponent hits me there for a decent gain over the middle to Des Bryant. He's running the ball effectively and setting up his play actions as well. But fortunately, we do make the stop there on DeMarco Murray. And the very next play, my opponent is going to throw a deep here off his back foot with Mike Vick. Should have been intercepted, but my team just decided to knock it down. Next play, he completes a pass for seven, setting up now a fourth and three. Rather than kicking the field goal, he does decide to go for it here. Gets a nice block, or what I thought was going to be a nice block anyway. And Mike Vick is able to pick up the first down. Very next play, Bo Jackson into the end zone, showing his power. And I'm down 7-0, guys. This is looking pretty ugly, but we're not going to stop trying here. Barry Sanders with a nice gain there off the left side. Six attempts for 38 yards at this point, and I don't know what it is. His defensive end just kept coming off the edge and hitting me in the backfield. I don't know if I need to cut that in more or what, but I, I just most of the time I'm able to cut that out and get around the edge for a big gain, but... Uh, for whatever reason, his defenders were playing it really, really well. And we are going to complete a pass there to Jordan Cameron over the middle. Going back now to Barry Sanders, the strong power run, and he is going to convert there. And the drive is going to continue now. Second and 10, and it's going to be a screen pass to Barry Sanders. I thought I was going to gain huge yardage here, but we do end up picking up the first down anyway. First and 10, and we're going to go over the middle to Jason Morrow for a nice completion there. And guys, now it is time to really make them pay here with the run up the middle. Barry Sanders, they did not see it coming. I'd been going off the edge throughout most of the game. Was able to walk in untouched there with Barry. Very, very happy about that one because it was just about the end of the half. But my opponent did have Bo Jackson, and he was going to take a nice carry here for a big gain. Four seconds left in the half, and watch this. Throwing off the back foot again with Mike Vick, completely off target. But he did get the ball back to start the second half. Look at this. Another throw right at my defenders. Unbelievable. No pick. No interception. Mike Vick on the ground, got hit there. I mean, like, literally, there was nothing more that we could have done. As we drop another interception, what is that, three now in this game? And guys, this is going to continue. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You give this team time after time after time where you don't intercept passes, yeah, and eventually people are going to be able to convert, as he did there on fourth down. Now, we are going to stop him here with a nice play to make a tackle in the backfield there on Vic, and he's going to throw off the back foot again. Look at this, right at my defenders scrambling to his right with a left-handed quarterback. This is some noob stuff here, guys. You don't do that as we drop another pick. 
unreal. Like, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted at this point. My opponent finally did decide to punt there, and which gave us the ball. Nice little screen pass here to LaShawn McCoy on third and six, but his defender makes a nice play to stop us short. My opponent had been going for it on fourth down, so I said, screw it. I'm going to go for it as well. Barely picked that one up, though. Jason Morrow did make the catch, which I was pretty happy about. And we're going to continue to try and grind the football here. I want to set up my passing game. Now, right here, third and seven, this is super obvious passing. I, I just decided I was going to set Barry Sanders right out there on a streak and try and pull his safety over there to the right, which worked for me. And I was able to complete the pass to my tight end over the middle to pick up the first down there on third and seven. And we're, like I said, we're just going to continue to grind, try and grind the football, excuse me, over and over and over again, running the football, just making sure that he's paying attention to the run because we have to set up these play action passes like this one to Jordan Cameron. And we get the touchdown there. He was pulling his defenders away, I'm assuming, because he wanted time to score himself. We do finally take the score or take the lead here with that score in the fourth quarter. 318 left now for my opponent. And he has to drive all the way down the field and score here. Plenty of time, no question about it. But he still does have to drive down the field and score. My defense had not been playing well, obviously, throughout this one. And uh, we were definitely a little bit worried going into this final drive here as he continues to drive the football down the field, running the football, passing the ball over the middle. It's so hard to pass or to stop these little passes over the middle like that one. The little slant to Des Bryant, very, very difficult to stop as he completes another pass here over the middle. And it was finally time for my defense to step up here. The only gold player on my defense, Aaron Williams, comes up and gets the interception there. An absolutely massive pick. And that pretty much ended the football game because I was able to run the clock out at that point. I could not believe how many passes my team was dropping in this one, guys. Let me know in the comments section below what I'm doing wrong. Why is my team dropping so many interceptions? It continues to happen to me over and over and over again. It's not just the players. I mean, I've, I've switched up the players, guys. Um, at, at a certain point, you have to look at the game and, and really say, why are the defenders dropping every possible interception? It just happens over and over and over again. But I'm happy enough, we did get the 14-7 victory despite the BS that happened. And uh, I'm happy to go to a 2-0 here. Should be a 3-0, but once again, Madden's broken online. So what are you going to do? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And again, guys, if you're new to the channel, of course, be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you know when I put out a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.